Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Neil. Uh, I'm a physics and chemistry tutor with Far From Standard and uh, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about uh, vapor pressure and its relationship to boiling point. Alright, so uh, the vapor pressure of a liquid is basically uh, the tendency for the particles to try to escape into a gaseous phase. The atmospheric pressure is all of the gas that we live in all around us pushing down on everything. Okay, that's what we call the atmospheric pressure. So, boiling occurs when the vapor pressure, we say, is equal to the atmospheric pressure, or slightly greater than that, and then it can escape. So, I'm going to do this by uh, showing you how a pressure cooker works compared to a regular pot. Okay? So, I know some of you probably know what a pressure cooker is. Now, they're pretty annoying pieces of equipment in the kitchen. All right? I can still imagine myself watching TV and, uh, and having the pressure cooker go off and be like, Yo, Mom! Turn that off! And she'd be like, Berta, if you only knew how much work I had to do, you understand why I'm using a pressure cooker. Okay? So this is actually what's happening. In a normal pot of water, the hottest temperature that the water can achieve is 100 degrees Celsius. Well, that's because there's a finite amount of pressure that we can have due to the atmosphere. Okay? But in a pressure cooker, what happens is the atmosphere is totally blocked out. So what's occurring is that the water starts to boil, Okay? and that it turns into a gas and it slowly builds up as a pressure cloud above whatever liquid water you have remaining. That pressure cloud makes it harder and harder for that water to boil so that that water achieves a much hotter temperature. Again, cooking is cooking in a liquid. We don't want it to be boiling. Okay? So we let that water get hotter and hotter under the pressure cloud. Now it achieves a temperature of maybe 200 degrees Celsius. Now the rice can cook faster, or whatever it is in your pressure cooker can cook faster at a hotter temperature. So again, the bottom line here is, is we want to try to increase the pressure cloud above our liquid to force it to stay as a liquid and achieve a hotter temperature. Now, now that you kind of understand how a pressure cooker works, let's take this uh, on the flip side and understand why it takes longer for a cake to cook at a higher altitude, let's say if you lived in the Rocky Mountains. At a higher altitude, we understand that the pressure is lower because there's actually less molecules all around us. And so the cake is actually going to be cooking at a lower temperature and therefore it's going to take longer. So high pressure means a higher temperature of the water means a faster cooking time. And on the inverse, in a mountain, a low pressure means a lower achieved temperature and a longer cooking time. Uh, tune in for some more videos from FFS. This is Neil signing off. Bye.